A clean recovery centers is a not a one size fits all treatment facility for addiction. It's a tailored program that serves each client's needs. Recovery journeys are unique to the individual and to tell us why I'm so excited to welcome to the show today co-founder and president Nick Cuneo along with lead therapist Felicia Mann. Welcome to the show both of you guys today. Thank you. Good morning. So again, I've said it before, I love being able to use our platform to help families and help those who are battling addiction right now. And sometimes the process can be overwhelming. If you do choose to get help, finding the right place. How does Clean Recovery Center stand out, Nick? Oh, well, thank you for having us. First of all, we love talking about recovery and what we do and try to, uh, focus on the differences that we provide in terms of treatment protocols. So we do offer all levels of care and that's uh, uh, as many other places do. Um, in addition to that, myself being a long-term person in recovery, I, we try to bring both paths together and offer parallel paths that kind of mimic one another and offer different options to get to the same place, which is freedom, recovery. And of course, we use the term, you know, it is it's a tailored approach for each person because everybody has their needs, find what works, what doesn't work. And you're kind of shaking your head. Yeah, it, it seems like that that's something that as a, as a therapist, that's important for you to find out, to be able to get to that level of recovery and clean living. Of course, yeah. So we, we individualize the client's treatment plans to fit their specific needs, whether that be um, substance abuse is the main one. Mm -hmm. um, we also offer mental health, um, so we're dual diagnosis. Um, if there's trauma, if there's unresolved grief, if there's relationship issues, we kind of tackle all that. And again, start off, to, you, I, I touch it on too, you do have detox, which is right, that first stage. Not all places have that. And, and so talk about being able to offer all levels of care. Why was that important for you, Nick? Well, it, the need was there. Yeah. I mean, as you mentioned, uh, it, there's a lot of people that need help. Fewer places are around that offer those first stages of care. They're harder to do because they're medically intensive, costs are, are higher, um, and the person's in greater need and when they're at their worst. So they're not only emotionally sick, but physically just out of their mind oftentimes. Mm -hmm. So it was very important when we had the opportunity to add it. We started as just a one dimensional program seven years ago. And as we saw the need of more services being uh, required in the area, we just added these on and ultimately uh, detox we added two years ago. And, and I like being able to talk, that's the first step, but then of course you have the alumni program too at the end and, and people you know, wanting to spread their message, wanting to say, hey, there is life at the end of this tunnel. How important is that element in the alumni chapter of this when it does come to the phases of addiction? Yeah, so I mean, when you talk about all the different levels of care, it's really important to go through the whole program. I mean, when they start at detox, they're getting that 24 hour medical monitoring um, they're becoming free of their intoxication, their withdrawal symptoms, and then throughout the process, they step down as they're, as they're um, clinically appropriate, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we work with each individual to meet them where they're at. So we want them to step down to the residential level, start gaining those coping skills, mm -hmm. gaining their um, awareness, and kind of identifying their triggers to why do they use we want to get to that underlying issue because if you don't, they're just going to return to substances. So once they step down to that residential level of care, they're working with a therapist, they're attending groups, um, possibly working with our trauma track or our mental health track. And then they step down to PHP level of care, which is our day and night program. And there, their bubble is kind of expanded a little bit. So they're still getting therapy. They're still going to groups, um, but they're living in like a transitional housing. So they can really gain those daily living skills, um, all the things that they need to be successful when they leave. Um, and then after that, they'll go to the alumni program. So. Oh, and I'm, of course, getting, you know, getting to know the company and, and I've been able to work with you and help spread your message. I'm excited to hear expansion. Did I, did I hear that word? We only have a few mm -hmm. seconds left, though. Yeah, yeah. well, we, we recently <laughs> added a, a, a facility down in Sarasota mm -hmm. and housing as well down there. Is, well, I'll do mental health. We'll do substance use disorder, be able to house the people there. And then we're on, we have plans uh, in the making right now for additional centers, one in Largo and one in uh, Nokomis, 
excuse me, in yeah. Bradenton uh, that's underway as well. Well, of course, we know the need is out there. I'm so glad there are people like you who are helping others. We want to make sure share the information for Clean Recovery Centers. There's the website, cleanrecoverycenters.com, along with the phone number. Again, thank you to the both of you. Thank, thank you. you so much.